there is such a weird defining line between what's high art and low art. And I think with this project, we really just wanted to create something that it doesn't matter what it looks like, you know, it's still art. BGSU art students are coloring outside the lines to define art with a virtual art crayon show. Our idea was kind of just to really return to our roots and just do something really carefree and fun. And that's kind of where we got the idea of doing crayons. I think the older we get, like we kind of lose a part of just the innocence that we have. And with that, we kind of lose a part of our identity when it comes to our artwork. And we really just wanted to be ourselves again. A lot of these are really playful. With mine in particular, it's something really playful about something kind of dark, but through this very playful looking lens, it's easier for people to understand the gravity of it and like what was happening. Art doesn't have to be something that's so far away and something that is like in a museum that can't be touched. All of our projects are very different. So we kind of span the whole kind of range. And that's okay, like that there's not really a defining feature of art when it comes to mediums or when it comes to really anything. There is no right or wrong way to make art. It's about what you put into it emotionally and just the enthusiasm you have for it. People, they don't think they're good enough to be artists and it's like, well, you are an artist. Everyone is in some kind of different way. Art is fun, it's colorful and creative and it can be whatever you want it to be.